Hi everyone. In this video, I am continuing the data types in VHDL. So in the previous video, I have started this data types. So data types, it may be a predefined data types, scalar data types, composite data types, access data types, or it may be a file data type. So we have seen up to the scalar data types. So predefined data types are nothing but bit to bit vector, integer, okay. Uh, uh, true or false boolean all these comes under predefined data type and the scalar data type scalar data types again classified into four different types it may be enumeration data type integer data type physical data type and floating point data type so floating point name clearly tells that integer also name clearly tells that by seeing there we can easily understand integer represents the values in terms of integers with a range okay zero to some value and floating point represents all the values in terms of uh, decimals like uh, 1.9 2.9 like that but all these can also represent in a, in a ranging format coming to physical data type physical data type name clearly tells that physical quantities we can measure like current voltage power all the units time so whichever the physical quantities we measure in general that we can represent in only physical data types and enumeration data types are nothing but simply a data type which consisting of a group of mixed set of different uh, user defined values like a G, u is there undefined 0 1 z all these are a set of user defined values can be uh, simply put together in an enumeration data type and coming to coming to the composite type composite data type so composite data type which is a third type in the classifications of the data types so it represents it represents a collection of values it represents a collection of values so there are two composite types generally array types and record types again these are classified into two types array types and record type so classified into two types so composite types are classified into two types array type and record type so array type represents a collection of values all belong to the single type so we know in c language also arrays having the same meaning so array type represents array type array type represents a collection of values a collection of values belonging to belonging to a single type belonging to a single type suppose i am grouping all integers together then it is a valid array collection or it if we are having a group of different items then it is not a it is not an array okay and on the other hand we can define record record type represents a collection of values that may belong to different types suppose instead of having common uh, same type of uh, same data type all together then we can call that as a record so record type represents record type represents a collection of a collection of values belonging to belonging to a different type belonging to a different type then we can call it as a record suppose 1 2 3.5 7 like that if you are having different different group of different items then we can call that as a record of same type we can call it as an array type okay so an object belonging to composite type therefore represents a collection of sub sub objects one for each element of the composite type okay so and if you see the representation of this composite type example like for array 
array representation because array comes under this composite type. So array type, we are having type address, type address is array, type address is array and ranging from 0 to 63, ranging from 0 to 63 of bit, of bit. Or we can also represent type data word, data word, see data word and address, these are names we can keep on our phone, is array, is array, 7 down to 0 of std underscore logic std underscore logic so these are the examples of array type and coming to record type as i told you record consisting of a group of different elements then it can be they also represented as record type so an object of a record type composed of elements of the same or different types so, for example, type pin is range 0 to 10. So, here pin is a data object with consisting of all the integer values in it. That means it holds all integer values with a range of 0 to 10, nothing but 11, nothing but 11. Uh, locations are there like a pin of 0 to 1, pin of 3, pin of 4 and so on, pin of 10. Total 11 locations are there to store the information. <clears throat> okay, this is a record type. And coming to access type, coming to access type, so value belonging to an access type are pointers to a dynamically allotted object of some other type. They are similar to pointers and Pascal in C language. So values belonging to values belonging to an axis type an axis type are pointers or pointers to a dynamically allocated object dynamically allocated object of some other type object of some other type Okay, so for example, type PTR is access module. So here we are taking the PTR as a data object that is represented as an access under module. So type, another example type, it may be a first in first sir, FIFO is array is array ranging from 0 to 63 comma 0 to 7 of bit. So that means each one is having a single single data. Okay, this is axis type. Coming to the last one, which is a file type, which is a file type, which is a file type. So objects of file type represents files in the host environment. Objects of file represents files in host environment so host 
environment host environment so example for this one type see for all these data types you have to write type in the beginning type file type file type name so here we are going to give the name of the file is file of type name is file of type name suppose for example see this is syntax this is syntax you need to write for example for example the type name is the type values contained in the file your type name is nothing but type values contained in the file that may be a an integer float like that okay hence the two examples are given here so type vectors is file of is file of bit vector is file of bit vector another example is type names is file of is file of string string see here vectors is a file name where bit vector consisting of all the numbers as a bit vector that means all are different different ranges are represented in that and another example i have taken with names where the file consisting of all the characters string is nothing but group of characters okay so this is the file type so these are different types of data types in the vhdl thank you